Welcome back, friends. We're here with season two of Heartstopper. I've been really hyped for this. Everybody on Patreon is really hyped for this. And I really enjoyed last season. It was quite an emotional roller coaster. Looking forward to checking in with Nick and Charlie's relationship. Then there's Elle and Tao's relation, friendship, and there's Isaac as well. This show is just full of great characters. Tara and Darcy are great. Tori. Yeah, and we ended on quite a happy note last season, but I had a feeling that Charlie would need to take care of his mental health. Poor kid, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this season has in store for us. I mentioned this back in season one as well, but if you want to watch the full reactions for this show, see if you can find queer creators who are reacting to this and support them. That being said, if you really want to, you can check out my full reactions on Patreon. Uh, leave a like and let's jump into this. You set your alarm to vibrate? That is not enough to wake me up. Oh. It's nice to seem so happy. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hi. 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 I came out to my mum last night. Oh my god, how did it go? Really well. She was completely fine with it. Aww. <laughs> We're starting right. Want a well done kiss? <laughs> yeah. A well done kiss? <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Giddy kids. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Oh, just let me win, Charlie. Yes. Oh, <laughs> You'll never win. We're in my room. Oh, here. oh no. This is war. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a really sweet way to start the season. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, I love the little comic book flair. I have a boyfriend! <laughs> yes, we're all fully aware. And he's amazing. Uh-huh. I mean... Tao. I mean... Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. And he wants to come out. Yeah. Oh, he's boy. Some of his friends. As long as you're both fine with it. L. out for each other. I'm sure it will be fine. Are you giving Charlie relationship advice? Ah! Roots. <laughs> I know lots about relationships. I watch a lot of romance movies. Uh huh. So, oh, uh, excuse me. You're excused. Nah, I... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, take it. <laughs> Tao. He ran away. <laughs> Aww. Man. Imogen. Imogen. You okay? Frickin' Ben. I named him Brickman because that's where I want to live someday. Aww. And I really want him to meet Nelly so they can be best friends. <laughs> He's absolutely adorable. We're still friends, aren't we? Yeah. I promise I don't fancy you anymore. <laughs> also, I fancy someone else now. Oh. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're fine. If anything actually happens, I promise I'll tell you. And if you have any romantic developments, I want to hear all about them. Wait, has he not told her? Oh my god, I forgot to show you this one. <laughs> Today. Study hall? What is this about? He looks worried about this. Oh, because he can't sit next to Charlie. That sucks. Oh. Oh. Perfect. You're seem you seem friendly. My rules are simple. No, no phones. Chatting. No phones. Why not let you off with a warning, seeing as I hadn't quite finished listing my rules? Thank you. Catch you with that phone again, I'll be confiscating it. <sighs> I was afraid he was going to read it out loud. I think we're going to get on just fine. Freaking Ben with a little smirk. Yusuf. Leah. Here. Warren. Here, sir. Charlie. Here, sir. <laughs> Toby. Distracted. Here, sir. You're going to say something? You're just going to ignore me for two weeks then. Yeah. I didn't even do anything to you. Don't talk to me. I said sorry to Charlie for what happened. Don't talk about him. Wow. You're still an asshole. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. This could be real bad. I want to rejoin the rugby team. Rejoin? Cool. Just to spend more time with him. You come back to rugby? Yeah. Yes, lads. Come on then. Well, that's nice. Right. Hello. What? Are you still in a mood with us? 
Yeah. Did you Let's apologize? Go, Did you stop being an asshole? You deserve to have the perfect romance. Exactly. Like us. Aw, supportive friends. <laughs> Tao is literally the worst person to have a crush on. Sometimes Why? I think he might like me back, but... What if you tried actually flirting with him? You're quiet today. What's up? Nothing. Everything's normal. Romantic normal. tension. My mum's been moaning at me to get a haircut. It would look cute short, too. You should do what you want. Oh. <laughs> Someone be brave in this relationship. <laughs> Got you a present. What? Why? We've been going out for two months. Oh, I didn't get you I, anything. I did not get you a present. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's glowing. <laughs> oh, this show is too wholesome. And how did you know this is my favorite chocolate bar? Spying? Just kidding. You mentioned it ages ago, so. I keep being afraid that he'll get caught instead of getting to come out. And that's why we shouldn't kiss at school. Oh, but kissing's so fun. But you getting outed because we get caught kissing is not. Yeah. You don't have to tell everyone or anyone if you don't want to. You're yeah, making me want to kiss you again. I'm being serious. <laughs> so am I. If we're out by the time we're on the Paris trip, we can uh, kiss on the Eiffel Tower. Cool. Paris trip? This is some fancy school. Oh wait, they're in the UK. It's right there. <laughs> no more kissing at school. It's too risky. Till you're out. <sighs> He's never wanted to kiss anyone more! Now with this rule... You can invite some of your friends over. I treasure my alone time. Mm. Why exactly did you purchase the entire Tesco snack aisle? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sleepover. And everything about tonight needs to be perfect. Are you getting graded for it? I'm helping Nick come out to one of his oldest friends. Oh, Tori. I love her dry sense of humor. I make cupcakes. Wow. Aww. Very proud of you. It's very We have a snack table. I saw that smile. Don't try to hide it now. <laughs> Vibing so hard. I'm going to move into your house just so I can get your mom to make me these every day. Oh my god, me too. Same. We only have one spare room, so. Dibs. So, I'm going to tell you all uh huh. Hey, my mum wouldn't let me. Darcy's mum's the same. Tao. Is Isaac being perceptive? <laughs> oh. He's feeling like a seventh wheel? Imogen! Gonna tell her today. It'll be fun. She's an ally. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm an ally. Your friend group is so nice. How did you get to know everyone? Uh, I guess it was Charlie first. You know, we're in the same form. Uh huh. And um, he's trying so hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I don't know why it's so hard to just. It's okay. These two. It's all bad. I could be your model. Uh huh. <laughs> Like one of your French girls. I was about to say it. To be inspiring. Jack! Jack! <laughs> swimming! <laughs> swimming. Hmm? Tilt your head a bit to your left. That's your right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. Look at me. Oh, man. And they're gonna back away. Oh. Uh. Do you want Hawaiian? Oh, yeah. Hawaiian? Oh man. Tell her. <laughs> it's okay if you don't. Take your time. He's feeling so much pressure. Oh man. I like this friendship too. It's. You and Elle have been doing work like all afternoon. I was trying to get into this prestigious art college. She'll definitely get in, but she's still worried about it. Do you think it's going to be weird for you if you're apart next year? What do you mean? She's my best friend, and there's... We're... It's none of your business. He's just asking ask if you'll be sad if when she's gone. Oh, my God. He's... But he's taking it personally, because... Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to... Is it about you 
and Charlie? Oh my god, Imogen. <laughs> oh my god. I, sh I should have let you say it. Probably, yeah. It is kind of obvious. And like, it totally makes sense. You didn't like me because you're gay. Well, I, I, I'm bisexual, actually. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you just didn't like me because of me? Aww. I'm sorry, I don't actually know how to react. <laughs> this, is, this is good. <laughs> okay. You have to tell me about your crush. Oh, come on. It's only fair. It's only fair. Oh, fine. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's Ben. Oh, son of a... And he can't... Oh. Well, good luck with that. Sorry, Imogen. The flirting didn't work. I think I need to try and get out of there. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Bye. 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 Hug train. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. That book said Ace? A something? Is he about to turn around? And... Yep, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe people think you're straight. <laughs> I thought I probably should tell you. He's my boyfriend. Uh -oh. You're surprised. Nick is banned from sleepovers from now on. What? Oh no, my god. No bedroom door opener. <sighs> no hanky panky till you're married. Stop saying hanky panky. <laughs> oh, Tori does not like that. <clears throat> oh man. Well, that sucks. You're not worried about getting bullied again? It's not going to be like when I got outed. We just want people to know we're together. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure Nick doesn't have to deal with what I do. <sighs> She's worried for him. I can make sure that he never feels pressured, stressed, That's scared. I don't think you can do that all alone. I don't think you can guarantee that. Oh. Everything's gonna be perfect. <sighs> it's so nice seeing Nick and Charlie be happy together. I went back and looked at their good morning text to each other. Very, very cute. And the little montage of time passing and them making out, playing games, spending time with each other, drama-free, it was really great. And yeah, Charlie actually rejoined rugby just to spend more time with Nick. Uh, definitely afraid of them being caught kissing at school, but it's also a lot of fun seeing them sneak about. And I had actually forgotten that Nick hadn't come out to Imogen. He walked away from the rugby match last time with Charlie and she noticed. I thought the whole school would have noticed and assumed. And yeah, the sleepover was a lot of fun though. Everybody supporting Nick and telling Imogen. Hilarious callback with Darcy talking about how Imogen's an ally. And yeah, when Nick finally works up the courage to tell Imogen, she kind of does step on his moment a little bit, but like she got it a little wrong, so he was actually able to tell her that he's bisexual. Funny that she was like, oh, you're gay, and that's why you're not into me. Nope, bisexual, still into girls, he's just not into you. And yeah, Imogen actually does try to be an ally, but just hasn't run in these circles before and doesn't really know how to do it. It's entertaining to see her try to work it out. And yeah, but she decides to share her crush with Nick and could not have chosen a worse person. Uh, ben continues to be the biggest dick, and Nick has to sit next to him for this study hall thing. It's a real step down from being able to sit next to Charlie every day, and Nick can't even tell Imogen about how liking him is such a bad idea without outing Ben. He can't even say like, oh no, he's a horrible person without her asking questions and him giving it away. Hopefully though, she understands why Nick didn't warn her off if and when she finds out. And yeah, the study hall teacher seems overly strict. I was actually afraid he'd snatch the phone away from uh, Nick and start reading the text aloud. Is that an unreasonable fear to have? I mean, some teachers make you read a note out loud if they catch you passing it around. I'm glad it didn't happen in this episode, though. Uh, Isaac, I sense some in discomfort there in this episode. Did he feel like a seventh wheel among that friend group? Um, but I think I remember him being Arrow Ace and the book he was reading said Ace of something. I couldn't make out what it was. Um, but yeah, curious if we'll spend more time with him this season because we... It felt like we hardly focused on him in season one. And then, yeah, Ella and Tao, I understand what they're both going through. They clearly feel something for each other, but they're both so afraid that telling the other person would change that friendship if their feelings aren't reciprocated. 
and Nick tries to connect with Tao by talking about Elle and her trying to get into art school, and Tao gets extremely testy about it, partially because he hasn't completely warmed up to Nick yet, and partially because he's still conflicted about his feelings about Elle and is frustrated with himself and the situation. And he also hasn't told anybody about his feelings either, he just keeps it all bottled up, and yeah, hope those two can find a way to communicate their feelings at some point this season. And yeah, Charlie's parents... I forgot how much of them we saw last season, but your son tells you about his boyfriend and instead of being happy for him, his mom peddles in like gay stereotypes and then his dad does everything to shut down any possibility of sexual activity. But the rules are so strict that it's going to take away any privacy they had. Charlie's home was one of their safe havens where they could be unapologetically themselves and not have to worry about the outside world. Now they might not even feel safe there, and the parents don't even realize how much they screwed up in that moment. If you make your kid feel bad when they're trying to share happy news, it's not going to make them want to tell you stuff in the future. They're more likely to shrink away from you, and Charlie probably regrets telling them about him and Nick dating now. I'm not saying don't set ground rules, but at least share in the happiness a little instead of immediately finding things to nitpick or criticize. Ugh, it's frustrating. Uh, I did like that Tori kept disapproving of her dad's use of the term hanky-panky. I might be reading too much into it, but it feels like she wants to push back against her parents responding poorly to Charlie's news, but kind of doesn't know how to because they're her parents too, so she focuses on the hanky-panky thing instead. But yeah, she's such a supportive sister though, uh, always paying attention to Charlie, and we actually saw her smile when she saw him happy with Nick. Really, really sweet. Oh, and the end scene with her and Charlie, she was worried about him and his mental health because he's decided to go public with this news, and that's after he suffered so much when people found out he was gay, and Charlie was saying that this is going to be a perfect coming out for Nick, that he's going to protect him and not let anything happen to him. It's really sweet, but it feels also like it's completely unreasonable, and I worry about how he'll respond when people inevitably are shitty to Nick. Like, you can't control how people respond. Even his own parents didn't respond the way he wanted them to. So, yeah, worried about that for sure. Extremely wholesome episode, but it also sets up a lot, a lot of tension. I feel like they threw a bunch of shoes into the air, and now we're just waiting for all of them to drop. I think the funniest line of the episode might have been when Charlie and Nick were kissing after the sleepover. I think Tao cleared his throat, and then Darcy said, I can't believe people think you're straight, which is so, so amusing. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I think I might be headed towards burnout again, so I might slow down and just do one episode a week on YouTube. We'll be one or two episodes ahead uh, over on Patreon, though. Uh, full reactions are there, too. Leave a like, and I'll see you, go see you all again soon. Bye, friends.